everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Dealer Dud. We're going to talk about the Roach House, which we did a walkthrough of in a previous video. So I'm just going to run through the numbers with you on that project. Now you know the story behind the house. So we bought that house for $50,000. The property was referred to us. Um, and the contract the seller agreed to was 50, but as most of you know, when you buy a house for $50,000, it doesn't mean that you're paying $50,000 because you have closing costs that you have to pay when you buy a house. So that's your title insurance, your transfer tax, um, and kind of like deed prep fees. And if you're using a private lender, you have a note and a mortgage and all that paperwork, and it costs a whole bunch of fees to file that paperwork. So with our closing costs to buy, this includes our fees for all that paperwork, filing, transfer tax, title insurance, we're 3,240. So even though we bought it for 50, when someone says they bought something for 50, they actually have fees on top of that. So really all in, we were all in for 53,240. And then we had to get the property cleaned out. It was packed full of stuff. So our clean out cost us uh, a combination of things. $830 just for the clean out company to go in and remove everything. I mean, and the house was wall to wall packed. And then we had to get a dumpster permit because the property, as you saw in the previous video, didn't have any off street parking. So we had to put the, per the dumpster on the street. And when you do that, the boroughs kind of freak out a little bit and they need you to set up cones and like or the neighbors get all upset and it's like a whole huge thing so you have to file and get a permit so don't forget to get your permits so that you can stay friends with the boroughs and townships that you flip houses in so we got a dumpster permit for 30 and then our dumpster cost total was 684.48 which i think was like um a little over two um dumpsters like two bigger dumpsters and one smaller dumpster so the clean out crew will go in and throw it all in the dumpster and then the gcs use the dumpsters and fill them up whether they're working on the property so um we had landscaping done which is a cost most people forget about this house was like a jungle the trees were laying on the house so we had to have all those cut back the grass was insanely out of control. If you're from the Northeast, you know what I mean? It's been raining in Pennsylvania every other day, nonstop. So everything's growing like crazy. So landscaping was $800. We had just like mulch done and just made it look better from the outside, which is really important. Um, it's okay that you're focused on rehabbing the inside of the house, but you want the outside to look good too. So landscaping was $800. Our GC, and I'll explain to you guys again how I kind of do things, but my uh, general contractor's cost for the whole project was $38,617.81. Everybody does things differently with their general contractor. For me, my general contractor does usually um, my kitchens, my bathrooms, my flooring, and my paint because he's good at painting. He actually started out just as a painter. I have to warn you, most general contractors will say they can paint and they can't paint. <laughs> they can't paint at all. So really be upfront with your GC when you interview them. Like if you can paint, great, then you can paint. But if you really don't like painting or you don't think you're good at it, I will sub that out and I'll get a painter to do it. It's probably gonna cost you less because the painter is gonna be faster and they're gonna be more precise. So their lines will be nice, so it'll look really good. But my GC paints, then I sub out electrical, I sub out HVAC, I sub out roofing, um, and sometimes we'll sub out windows, but in this case, our GC actually did install the new windows for us. So sometimes we'll have a window company do that. So for the kitchens, baths, and everything the GC did at that house, um, it was 38,000. The roof was 5,980. We had a little bit of electrical work done. There was like no outlet to plug the dryer into. And in order to install an outlet for the dryer, our electrical panel box was full. There was no more room. So we had to have another uh, little panel box put in so that we could install an outlet for the dryer. So just some things that popped up that we didn't realize when we walked through. This was our um, carpet cost. When I say flooring, I mean carpet. You guys saw in the house that the living room has the laminate flooring, but the carpet for the bedrooms and for the second floor came to 2,699. We'll typically do carpet in the bedrooms and we tend to do flooring in the living room and the hallway. So that was for the carpet. 
Um, cleaning is another thing most people forget about. You guys know me, I'm lazy. My company's called Lazy Girl Consulting. I don't clean, I don't do anything. After you're done the project, you have to have the project cleaned. And cleaning a post rehab is not like cleaning your house. <laughs> it's extremely dirty. There's drywall dust and dirt on everything. It's horrible. It's a long process. So while this might seem expensive, $333 to have that house clean, that's cleaning windows and that's every square inch of that house is spotless, which is what we want when buyers purchase from our company. So we had the heater serviced. We didn't have the heater replaced, as you guys can tell, because the heater was a little bit older, but we did have it serviced to make sure it was functioning okay. So our HVAC guys charge us $264 for that. You have utility costs, because while you're holding the house, you're still paying water sewer. Um, and in this borough, water sewer and trash is all included in one bill. So whether I'm putting trash out or not, I'm still paying for a trash. This utility expense is a little high on this project because um, it's a little weird. With this borough, they make you get a final water sewer reading before settlement, and we didn't do it soon enough, so we ended up paying the seller's last water bill, which we were fine with. But typically, I'll estimate like $300, $350 for utilities if you don't have oil heat, okay? If you live in the Northeast and you have oil heat, whole different ball game when you're rehabbing a house over the winter your utilities are going to be way more expensive but this house um we were renovating over the summer so it wasn't an issue our appliance cost was a little over two thousand we had to have the gutters cleaned it was 85 dollars we had the roof replaced and the roofers didn't really say anything about the gutters but when the house was all done and finished um i went to the house to check it out and when you walked up the front steps there the gutter was just pouring water it was raining because it's been raining here like non-stop and the gutter was just pouring water onto the steps at the main entrance of the house <laughs> i can't have sellers coming to look at a house and getting a bath before they walk into the house so we had to have the gutters clean don't do things half-ass like if you're gonna rehab a home make everything nice and including landscaping and gutters so buyers don't have to deal with that after they move in. So we had the gutters clean. Our insurance on the project cost us 280. That was to, that's just like vacant flip insurance. And then our private money lender was 4,375, which if you guys have seen our videos on private money, you know that I only buy with private money. So our lender funded the purchase price of 50, and all the rehab costs. And then we paid her an interest rate every month for, we're in month five now and this property sells next week, I believe. We're in the kind of final stages of getting appraisals and stuff. Um, so the lender for lending me 50,000 plus another 55 for rehab, she made $4,375 in five months for writing checks, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Um, so when you don't have time, you don't want to do the work of flipping houses. It's a great way to make a return on your money. So all in our costs are about 114,000. I say about because we're still tying up some loose ends and we still have to make it through a second appraisal. So we might have some other little costs that pop out, but we should be all in for 114. Um, our sale price is 130. Now we listed the house at 142.5 is what we're under contract for, 142.5. But when you have a contract price to resell, just like when you buy something, you have commissions. We have to pay the buyer agent a commission. We have transfer tax. We have fees that we have to pay. And we gave some seller assist. We also gave some money back for a little bit of repairs. So we're, our sale price total after everything we take off, the commissions, taxes, um, buyer agent commission will be 130. So our profit on this project is gonna be 16,000. Not too shabby, I mean, we had it for five months. I'm not super happy with the $16,000 profit. I try to shoot for 20, 25, and on average, we're pretty conservative. So our profit's usually somewhere in the 30 to 35 range. But there were some things with this project that popped up that we missed when we walked through. I call it the Roach House, you guys know, because we talked about when we walked through the house, but we had unexpectedly had to do a lot of roach treatments to this property. Um, 
there were some structural issues in the basement with the beams that I missed when I walked through. So we had to go back through and fix that. And we originally weren't going to replace those windows. But when we started rehabbing the rest of the inside, it didn't look right with the old windows. So despite it costing probably $4,000 more to put windows in, to us it was worth it to have the buyers happy and have the house look that much better. And that's what it's all about. Our company's reputation is everything. So when you flip, do it right and do it well and make your buyers happy. So um, 16,000 profit, not bad. I'm happy with the way the house turned out and the buyers are really happy too. So. Thanks for joining us. That's this week's Deal or Dud. You guys can follow us and learn out, learn more about us at www.lazygirlrei.com.